Hi, I'm Dr. Michelle Pullen, and today we're going to be focusing on Luke chapters 1 through 3. Luke 1 starts with the angel Gabriel coming to two individuals, bringing a miraculous message. And we have two different responses. So when Gabriel comes to the priest Zechariah, he and his wife Elizabeth, they had been married for a long time and they were childless. Scripture says that they were advanced in age and that um, historians have said they were over 60 years old. The angel Gabriel comes to Zechariah while he's in the temple praying and shares with him that he and his wife would have a son. Zechariah responds with disbelief. How could this happen? We're in advanced age. And as a result, Gabriel says, this is going to happen. But because of the fact that you didn't believe, you won't be able to speak until the baby is born. Six months into Elizabeth's pregnancy, Gabriel comes again and he goes to Mary. Historians have said that Mary is between the age of 13, 14 years old. And he shares with her that she will be the mother of Jesus. Her response was quite different than Zachariah. And she says, well, how can this be? And when Gabriel says that the Holy Spirit will come upon her, she gets excited. And she says that whatever God wants me to do, I'm available. Two different responses to two miraculous messages. Gabriel also says with, he shares with Mary that with God, all things are possible. This is found in the first chapter of Luke. When we get to the second chapter of Luke, we find that Jesus is birthed and that the angel comes to shepherds and he shares with the shepherds that the birth of Jesus has taken place. The shepherds respond by immediately stopping everything that they're doing and they go to the baby. In Luke 3, we find that Jesus has grown up. He's now ready to do the father's bidding. We also find that John the Baptist, the son of Zechariah and Elizabeth, that he is now proclaiming repentance. He's baptizing. And Jesus responds to what John is doing by going and being baptized. It is at that moment that we see that God the father the Holy Spirit ascends on Jesus as a dove and Jesus. The Trinity is all together for the baptism. And God says to his son, I'm well pleased. What will be your response today to what the Lord is saying to you? Will you be a Zechariah and be where you don't believe or will you respond as Mary and as the shepherds and as Jesus? and respond with great joy and say, Father, I'm available for whatever you have. I trust you. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for gifting us with this day. Father, we pray to respond to your word and with great joy. As Mary said, my soul does magnify you. Father, we pray to magnify you in everything that we say and do today. Father, we pray that every time that we think about all that you've done for us, that we will rejoice and be glad in this day. Father, we thank you and we praise you. It's in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen.